Today, we received our new trucks, which we ordered a few days ago. But it's already evening, so oh. we won't be able to ride them today. You need to wait until the next day and start riding and playing on them in the morning. <laughs> Mikey, let's go home now and get some sleep. Tomorrow, we'll start our truck battle. Let's see who has the coolest truck. You have your green truck or I have a black truck. Let's come up with some tests and try to pass them together. Okay, I really don't want to go now, but I'll try to sleep. Maybe I can do it. Good night, JJ. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Why can't I sleep? JJ seems to be sleeping and doesn't even hear that I woke up. It's still deep at night. I'll have to do something to want to sleep. What would be such an interesting thing to do? Maybe we should go and have a look at our new tux. We didn't have time to play with them because the K were delivered too late in the evening. I brought a very beautiful green truck. This color is exactly the same as the color of my skin. Now I'll see what I have in my chests. Perhaps there is something useful there. Hmm. Oh. Wow. There's some water and lava, and there's also a lot of cobblestone. What can I do about this? I guess I'd better go outside and try to play with it. I think I will quickly want to sleep and will be able to fall asleep later. Put my energy somewhere. Maybe try dousing these trucks with water and lava? What will come of this? You should probably try this. I've never done anything like this before. I'll try to make a tower out of cobblestones and stand on it. And then I'll pour lava and water directly onto our trucks. I'm interested in what might come of this. Surely there will be something interesting. Hmm. I poured a bucket of lava on JJ's truck and then we'll see what happens to his car. And I poured a bucket of water on my truck and tomorrow I'll see what happens to my car. Wow, the result is already visible. It seems they have become completely different. My truck became a water one and JJ's truck turned into a lava one. A very interesting experiment. I think I'm already a little tired and so it's time for me to go to bed. I wonder if JJ will be surprised by what he sees tomorrow. I think he will be completely shocked, but not upset about it. Now, our trucks have become even much cooler than before. Tomorrow will be full of experiments and competitions. Who will be cooler? Tomorrow we will understand who the real boss is. I need to hide all my evidence so that no one will guess that I did it. Hmm. Hmm. It seems that morning has finally come. Mikey, have you been awake for a long time? It's time for us to test our new tracks. We were gonna have a competition with them and see who would be cooler today, me or you. What happened? Why are our trucks so strange? Mikey, did you hear anything last night? Are there any sounds or noises? Look carefully, our tracks were not like this yesterday. <laughs> Something strange happened to them at night. We need to go out and see what's wrong with them. It seems the weather is very good. I think it will be comfortable to ride on the new tracks today. JJ, let's go out and see what's wrong with them. Did they just transform at night? Or did someone do it? We need to do a mini investigation. Let's watch them carefully and see what happened. It seems my truck became water and your truck became lava. Maybe someone was playing a joke hmm. on this? Judging by the fact that someone here built this cobblestone tower, it was one of the villagers who decided to play a joke on us. Well, it looks like the trucks haven't deteriorated and so you can try to ride them. I hope nothing bad happens to us from this. Oh. The only thing that confuses me is that my truck is completely made of lava. Will I take damage from it? It seems this could be dangerous and your truck is completely made of water, but you are a turtle and everything should be fine with you from the water. I don't think anything will happen to you. Let's then try to sit inside maybe or come up and see what kind of tracks these are. Uh oh. Oh no! It seems what? you don't take damage when you touch your truck, but when you touch my truck, you immediately get hurt. I think I need to check this too. Ouch! Oh no, it seems I get hit with damage too when I approach your truck. We shouldn't go near each other's trucks. I think we can just drive each on our own truck. Hmm. Well, let's go then and try out our new cars. Let's see who will be the boss today. My car is definitely much cooler than yours because it is made entirely of lava. <laughs> wow, where have we come? I thought we were just going to the mountains and you brought me straight to the crater of the volcano. 
Will we be having our first competition here? What will it consist of? I hope you don't make me jump into a volcano crater. I wouldn't want to die so easily. Although there is a second option that nothing will happen to me and the lava underneath me simply turned into obsidian. But I don't know which of these options will be correct. Mikey, watch and learn. Oh. The first test, you were right. It will be jumping into the crater of a volcano. Nothing happens to my truck at all, although it caught fire a little. Hmm. But I don't take any damage. I wonder what will happen to yours. Well, you still have to jump to understand which truck is much cooler than yours or mine. So, come on, let's check out who's the real boss yeah! here. Lava can't seem to turn into obsidian. Oh, great. I and my truck passed the first round. The next test comes up with Mikey. We do it in turns and check who is how cool. This lava does not harm me or my track at all. I wonder what the next test will be and who will win it. We'll find out soon enough. Huh? I hope it's not something related to water. Otherwise, I might lose. JJ, is it my turn to choose the challenge? I came up with the idea that now we should try swimming in this lake. I wonder what will happen to your truck. Nothing will definitely happen to my car because it is completely made of water. I think I can even swim in this water. I need to test it now. Let me start first and you right behind me. Watch and learn how to swim in the water. Okay, Mikey, let's go first and I'll try to do it right after you. I hope I don't die from the water. Wow, it's so cool and nice here. I could swim here all day. Water is definitely my element. <laughs> Why are you standing here? Come dive right into my place. There is such good cool water here. Now it's your turn to swim in this water. Otherwise, there will be unfair competition. We need to do everything equally. Hmm. Huh? What? Oh no! Mikey, turn around. There's something very scary behind you. Is huh? this really a tsunami? Mikey, <laughs> we need to get out of here now. I could die in this tsunami. Let's run away from here immediately, Mikey. Where are you going? I think I'm about to fall completely underwater. Uh oh But no, I'm completely in this water and I'm being slammed from side to side. The main thing is to try not to die from this water. It seems my <laughs> truck has completely turned into obsidian because of this water. When will this tsunami end? I need to do something to survive. It seems like JJ is out of luck. I just calmly float with this flow. He appears to be completely underwater and is pounding heavily. But now we definitely understand who has the coolest truck. I can survive even this tsunami. What about JJ? Will he be able to survive in this stream? Now we will find out. Hmm, it seems your truck was badly damaged. He turned into a solid piece of obsidian. So what are you going to do now? It's completely damaged. You can't fix it. Hmm. Mikey just doesn't know that I have a secret stash in the backyard. I never told him about it, so he thinks that I won't be able to fix my truck. There is a lever here. When I press it, a chest appears there. I hope he doesn't see me walking around here. He must not find out about this hiding place. And inside this chest, I have a diamond pickaxe, which will help me completely repair my truck. A diamond pickaxe will remove all obsidian completely. Mikey, look what I can do and how I can fix a truck. Huh? What it is? How did you fix it? Do you have a diamond pickaxe? Why didn't I know about this? I thought that now I would only have one cool truck, but you fixed yours. We will need to defeat you in the next test because I won this test. Oh. I don't know, Mikey. I haven't figured out what our next test should be yet. Maybe we can just take a walk. What kind of villager is this? What does he want from us? He looks at us strangely. Guys, there's a problem in our village. We urgently need someone to help put out the fire in the village. Otherwise, we will be left without a home and many villagers will die. We need you to help us. Come with me. It seems we have no other choice but to help these villagers. Mikey, you understand that I can't help this village in any way. You'll have to figure something out with your water truck. JJ, don't worry. I have a great plan. Now I will flood the entire village with the help of my water balls. I will be able to extinguish the entire village and save every villager. I understand that you can't do anything, so just stand there and don't bother me. It turns out that this is a new test for us, which only I can win. Here you are right. There is no way I can help you here. Come on, Mikey, you can do it. 
Extinguish the entire village and save all the villagers. You need to do this, and you will become a real hero in this village. I won't even be sorry to lose this round, because I really can't do anything and will only get in your way. It seems that now I have almost done everything. I only have a little bit left, and I can completely put out the whole fire. Look! I think I succeeded, and this villager is very happy and gives us various prizes. Let's pick them up because I deserve it. Just look what he gave us. There are diamonds and gold, emeralds. There are also experience potions here. It was a super cool test. If only there were fires like this more often. I could become a real fireman and put out villages. Mikey, you're definitely doing great. You won this round. Look, where did these monsters come from in this village? These are wither golems. It seems we now have a new test. So we accidentally arrived at the cake to which we were invited. And here again, we have to save the village. What's going on in this village? Every day there is some adventure. Mikey, is there anything you can do to help me? No, I can't help you in any way. These monsters cannot be destroyed with my water. You will have to try to destroy all these golems here yourself. Therefore, I'll just try to distract them a little so that they don't attack the villagers and you kill them with your lava. Oh. Come on, Mikey. Try to distract them a little. I will try to kill everyone. There are still a lot of them here, so you will have to spend a lot of time on this. It seems that all the villagers are very frightened and do not know how to escape. But I can save this village and become another hero. I will win this test today because it is thanks to my lava that I will save all the villagers in this village. Mikey, are you trying to save the villagers? I need your help. I can't handle this on my own. There are so many of them here, as if they never end, there is an infinity of them here. I'll have to work hard here to destroy them all. How many more are there? This is impossible. How long will they continue to walk here? Why did they decide to come to this village? JJ, let's quickly destroy everyone. I have little strength left to restrain them. I can't kill them with water. No. They seem to be resistant to water and don't take any damage. I can't even stop them a little. You must do this and save this village. Rather, we need to finish urgently. Mikey, it seems I managed to destroy everyone. Do you see at least one more golem? It seems they are no more. I was able to defeat them. This seems like a victory and we can be proud of it. I won this round, so the victory is mine. Huh? Well, actually, I tried to help you too, didn't I? <laughs> yes, but I killed them all, which means I won this round. Guys, for saving our village twice, you were given a prize reward from all the villagers of this village. Follow me, I'll show you your prize. You can take everything that is there. Huh? What? Will we have a prize now? What kind of prize is this anyway? Mikey, let's go get him. He'll show us where this prize is. It seems that now we will become rich, but I can't even imagine what could be there. I don't even know. Let's just go and see where he's taking us. What is that entrance down there? It seems he wants us to come to the dungeon. I'm a little scared. I hope nothing bad will happen there. Hmm. Guys, let's go downstairs. Here we have a secret storage room for our entire village. We consulted with the elders and decided that now we will give you everything we have. Thanks to you, we were able to survive and save this village. Therefore, everything in this cache goes to you. You can open it and see what is inside. You can take everything that is there. Oh! JJ, let's go in and see what's inside. I'm so interested in what kind of prizes we have now. Wow, are we all ours now? Are these all real? That's it, I'm making you up. Don't forget to pick everything up. Thanks for the help. Ho <laughs> oh, ho, Mikey, now we can stop working and live on these jewels for the rest of our lives. There are diamonds, gold, and emeralds. This will be enough for us for many years so we can relax and not work. <laughs> JJ, where are we going? What kind of place is it? We have been driving for several hours and there is snow everywhere and there is no sun. We could freeze here so bad. Maybe there is some kind of shelter here so we can stop and rest a little. I'm already cold. I can't keep driving like this. <laughs> Mikey, I'm cold too, but it's unlikely that we'll freeze. It's not as cold here as you think. <laughs> Mikey, what happened to you? Why are you this color? Your car is probably completely frozen because it consists entirely of water. And my car is completely made of lava and therefore it warms me and the car itself does not freeze. Mikey, what should we do with you now? 
You definitely can't move normally now. Now I'll think of something and do it. Maybe this way you can warm up a little. Now I'll throw in more lava, and so you'll warm up and freeze off from this ice. Oh, I feel so warm. I think I've already frozen off. Thanks for the help. If it weren't for you, I would definitely freeze here. Let's go further and see what is there. This is very similar to the tundra. We need to try to get out of it and find a normal place where we can ride without harming ourselves. Just be patient. I think we'll get out of here soon. Hmm. We just need to drive around a little more and it looks like we'll be out of here soon. Hmm. Ah! Mikey, what happened? Why are you screaming like that? Oh no, it can't be. Are you frozen again? It seems that in this village too, all the villagers are frozen. What should I do now? I urgently need to freeze everyone off and save them. That's it. I was able to unfreeze all the villagers in this village. And now I'm trying to unfreeze our Mikey and his truck. Bye everyone and see you soon. See you in the next episodes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video.